guys! So today I'm going to be doing the long-awaited Christmas haul tag thing. What is it called? What I want for Christmas. That is what that is. I really don't have to say this, but I figure I just should. Yeah, I'm not bragging. No one who does these videos on YouTube is bragging unless they're like, Hey, I got this. You didn't. You can go suck on my toes. You get the idea. No one is outwardly trying to be like a horrible person by showing you what they got for Christmas. And in fact, I find it like a form of showing joy. Like, I got this. I'm so excited. You should be excited too, because you probably got awesome stuff too. We can compare. That's how I'm going to look at this. You can take it however you would like to, little missy or sir. Anyways, I'm just going to talk about each thing I got. Yay! First of all, for the big one, um, like Bunny and like basically everyone on YouTube, I got the iPad Mini. And like everyone on YouTube, I'm going to tell you that the iPad Mini is basically like the best thing ever. iPad Mini, smaller than an actual iPad, more convenient. It's more like a Kindle Fire or something like that that's just that medium handheld device. My dad had to do some like backdoor like Craigslist deal to try to get it for me for Christmas because he called the Apple store like every single day for a month and they were always sold out by like 11 o'clock in the morning. So thank you dad for almost getting killed by the Craigslist killer for me. Next thing I got, um, I got a bunch of different like books and paper goods. I'll just call them like paper goods. I got the Lefty Notebook. Ha ha! And basically what that means, it's incredibly self-explanatory. It starts on the left no, it starts on the right side, so it's almost like a manga book or an anime book. Hmm, hello? I don't know what to call those, but you know, like the, the Asian books that go backwards when you read them? Basically the same thing. Um, for all of you lefties out there, we do in fact live in a right-handed world, and this is our one chance to get ahead of the curve. Yes! So, no more pencil lead on my hand right here. Hmm. I got the Tim Gunn's Fashion Bible, and I'm just gonna make it work through this. So, it's the fascinating history of everything in your closet. That was my Tim Gunn impression, if you didn't understand that. I also got a Kate Spade calendar, but it's currently hanging up in my room. And um, I also got a book entirely devoted to Audrey Hepburn's cover photos for different magazines, like, across the world. So some of them are from, like, Germany and Japan. It's weird to, like, see how they, like, the cultures change the way she looks, like, a little bit. So then Nicholas got me two things for Christmas. Yes, I'm mentioning Nicholas again. <laughs> that always seems to cause controversy. I do not mean it to. Really quickly, I'll just explain that whole situation. Um, basically... We broke up uh, while he was in college. He lives six hours away from me because he goes to a college in a different state. Especially since I'm trying to go to California for college, I thought it was just a waste of time to try to date someone that you know you're not going to see every single day. And not even every single day, but just like be too busy to talk to all the time. And then, and then he got back from break. But I will say that he initiated the breakup, so that's not like my fault necessarily. He got back... Uh, from college because he has uh, winter break just like I do and that rekindled a fire and a flame I guess and so we got back together and we're together now uh, who knows what the future holds I should hope it's a positive one um, I like him a lot and he's a great boyfriend so there's that if you want to see him in a new video I'll probably have him a video soon because I don't know I think it'd be fun to show him again anyways um, aside from that awkwardness Two things he got me for Christmas, because I got him two things for Christmas. I got him the male version of Dolce & Gabbana The One, the cologne, and it is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And then I also got him a video game. I got him Sleeping Dogs, which was a really, really good video game. He got me two things. He got me a video game and a piece of jewelry. So the piece of jewelry is this one. Hello! It's a little A on a gold chain. In fact, I'll wear it for the rest of the video, because it really just... It goes with my outfit. Really, really pretty. I love the pendant. It's just... It's perfect. It's the perfect length. It's perfect. He also got me Red Dead Redemption, which I've been playing religiously for the past couple days, and um, I really, really like it. I just, there's certain things about the game that are just a little bit off, like irritating, like the fast travel is annoying because you have to set up a little camp and etc, etc. If you play video games, you would know what I'm talking about, but eh, it's just a good game. It's a good game. And they have a zombie version, which I'm so excited about because one of my favorite things ever is zombies and the zombie apocalypse. One of my favorite Christmas presents, because it is something that I will probably cherish for the rest of my life, is my Marc Jacobs watch. Oh my god! Yes, Marc Jacobs watch. I got this from a very close family friend. She has impeccable taste, and she also went on my Pinterest and saw this and was like, she would probably like that, buy it for her. And I was like, ah! I don't know what, like, style it is or anything like that. If you know, let me know. Hmm. It also came in a really cool box. Does that mean anything? 
Probably not. I was just excited about the box. My mom always gets us these marshmallow for toasting things for Christmas. Like, TJ Maxx always has all of the really, really cool philosophy stuff on sale. And so she picked it up for me, and it's the marshmallow for toasting one. So it's got, like, the bath and body wash stuff. And then it's got a lotion and, and a lip gloss. And I already have the lip gloss in my purse, but... It's a cute little set of bath goodies, so that's fun. I also got a little solid perfume by Tokyo Milk, and this is in Honeycomb, and it is just the cutest, just the cutest, and it just smells like fresh daisies. I got a ring holder that looks like an Eiffel Tower, so my rings won't go missing all the time because I can't buy myself nice rings because I lose them all the time. Then I also got Belgian chocolates. Interesting story about this. My sister's foreign exchanging to Belgium next year. Um, not really sure where she's going. She might be going to Brussels. I don't know. I think it's in the southern part of Belgium because she is a French speaker. She's gonna have to learn a little Dutch just to survive in general, I think, but she is wanting to go to Belgium. So all of you Belgian people? Belgian people. I was about to say Belgish. That's not correct. Hello, and I'm sorry that one of my family members is about to go raid your country with horrible Americanness. Have fun. So then I got two bags for Christmas. The first one is a non bag, it is a camera bag. Uh, I got this from Amazon. Well, my mom got it from Amazon, and she just liked it because it's not just like the plain black camera bag. It has like a little bit of a personality to it, it looks kind of safari y and almost a little bit anthropology. So got me that one. She also got me this bag that I died over. I died. I died. It's a clutch from Kerna Zabat, but it's from Target. It's one of the designers that went to Target, and it's just a really, really cute clutch, and I will most likely use this for formal because, I don't know. I just, I really, really like it. It's something so, like, Marc Jacobs-y. Just reminds me of a really nice designer. Also got a little thing, a little tub of MEJs. I don't know if you have ever seen these before, but they, I use them constantly. I have one in my hair right now. Um, but it's just like these little hair bands that don't create creases in your hair, so you can wear them all the time and not worry about it being like kink, ponytail hole. Then I got a beauty blender, so that was fun. Got Essie's nail polish in... Do, 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 do. Where's my chauffeur? Also, I'm wearing that right now over another nail polish because my nails look so hideous that I was like, you know what, we need to fix that. I got a macaroon pill box, which I'm gonna use to transport jewelry around. Then I got three pairs of earrings. The first one is these little Kate Spade ball earrings, which are kind of like just simple little guys. My brother and my sister-in-law got me little elephant earrings from Francesca's. And then my cousins got me these really, really pretty earrings from Francesca's as well. No, Anthropology. From Anthropology, yes. Yes, Anthropology. So that is it for what I got for Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to hear your favorites of your Christmas presents. So comment below and let me know what you uh, thought of this Christmas and uh, how your hurl was for this Christmas. Don't forget to check out all my social media sites. They will all be in the description box if you want to go follow me on any of them. And I will see you guys for the next video. Bye!